All right, so I'm currently on the phone with Eden and Tom. There are a couple of musicians that reached out to me about the interview series. So I'm going to go ahead and give them the chance to introduce themselves. All right. Hi, uh, I will start, I guess. My name is Eden Levine. I am 31 years old. I'm currently living in Leipzig and I'm originally from Israel. Leipzig is in Germany, for those of you who don't know. Um, and I've relocated alongside Tom uh, six, almost six years ago. And I am actually, uh, I have my own relocation business in Leipzig. I help people to relocate. I also have a female entrepreneurs community in Leipzig that I'm hosting. And when I have time left also, <laughs> I am the singer of uh, She'll Be Doom, a swing metal band. Well, you left me nothing to... Excuse me, I just talked by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am Tom. I am here with Eden. I'm 32 years old, also was born in Israel. Um, yeah, I'm the guitar player of uh, the swing metal band She'll Be Doom. And... Uh, I've been playing music, uh, I think, since I was 15, so it's uh, 17, 17 years, yeah. I'm, I'm a musician. Yeah, a 17. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, a swing metal band sounds definitely very interesting, so we'll definitely get to that. Uh, but uh, to start these interviews, I always like to kind of go back to the beginning. Um, tell me, each of you take a turn uh, going into detail about, you know, how you first came in contact with music. At what age did you encounter it? And then when did it become a realization that you were going to pursue it for the rest of your life? Well, I can begin with this one. Um, music was something not very strong uh, with me uh, until I turned into an angry teenager. Um, and, you know, before that, I used to listen to what my parents listened to, which was uh, mostly um, old school music. Uh, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, um, and um, in high school I was discovering metal for the first time. Um, I was kind of uh, really against it in the beginning. It was like, ah, this is noise, this is uh, people screaming into the microphone and really not, <laughs> not something I'm <laughs> getting connected to. Um, but I think once I got to understand the meanings behind it and, and the emotions that are being involved, you know, that this is really where uh, I started diving deep into this whole world of music. Um, I began with playing piano when I was younger, which I didn't like too much. Um, and then I picked up a guitar that my younger brother got for his birthday and I fell in love. And ever since I've been writing stuff and playing stuff and, uh, playing them wrong mostly, but yeah, that's a uh, part of a musician's life, I guess. Awesome. Yeah, but also Very you cool. have the production part of it. Yeah. Um, I, even though I've been playing for 17 years, I'm not considering myself to be a good guitar player, <laughs> which <laughs> kind of sucks. Um, yeah, but um, I, I really do love to focus on good production and storytelling and lyrics and all this stuff. So awesome. uh, music is like an entire story um, for me personally. Very cool. Uh, yeah. And then how there about you? Like, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to say there's a lot to Tom than just a guitar a guitar player. He he is responsible for a lot of production and he started production, I think, nine or ten years ago, something mm -hmm. like that. And he's like super awesome on that. Uh, yeah, about me. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I always had music in my life. Like my my father is uh, singing and writing um, music and playing in like so many instruments. So I was exposed to that since I was very, very young. And I started uh, performing with uh, dancing when I was five, like not only at my home, uh, my, my family's home, like uh, outside to crowd that I don't know. Um, but I actually started with singing when I was around 10 years old. Um, we had a, a music uh, lesson in, in, in our school and the music teacher was also the choir um, organizer. And so she constantly um, asked me to, to join the choir since I was in first grade. And then when I was in fourth grade, then I kind of like gave in <laughs> and agreed to join the choir. Mm -hmm. And since then, I never left the choir until I, uh, until the end of my school years. And, uh, I was definitely a lot on stages and like singing, having solo parts. I really, really love the stage. Um, but then when I became turned 18, uh, this is where kind of like my parents are like, okay, yeah, this is time to grow up and become an actual adult and like <laughs> do adult stuff, like, like go to university and find a good job and so on. 
So, um, like, I, I think every musician heard this at least once in life that, you know, music is not a career and stuff. So sure. that's also my parent um, idea of a career <laughs> okay, <laughs> or what so not to do as a career. Yeah. Tell me about... Um the period of time it took both of you to kind of go from the point of, uh, you know, going through that initial introduction and relationship with music to the point where you began reaching out to, you know, other bands and kind of pursuing music more on like, I don't want to say a hobby level, but outside of like the education system. Uh, well, actually in high school, I had um, um, some lessons of music that I could participate in. And this is where I learned a bit more serious music, uh, music theory and, composition um i think it's only after the military service which is um, unfortunately mandatory in israel so uh, i spent three years and after i finished that i went to uh, study production and uh, this is where um, i met another friend uh, that actually moved with us here to leipzig he's not with us in the band unfortunately but um, um i was writing music with him and um yeah, it, it, uh, we had a metal band in the beginning. It started in Israel and then we moved uh, the whole band here to Leipzig. Um, yeah, and we tried it here. It didn't work because uh, we had some uh, uh, yeah, disagreements. Let, let, yeah, you're probably going to talk about it later. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but the, for me, it actually came back to it. I came back to it just a year ago when we decided to do this uh, this band, like the swing metal band. Before that, I was um, not really considering even to go into that realm of career. Uh, to, you know, it's really funny, band. but I still don't see musicians as being like a normal steady career. career. It's not a normal career. Because it is, it's, it is, it's such it is a hard... A profession. Yeah, but it's such a hard type of media to consume to begin with. No, I, I really think that music is is one of the hardest types of, of media forms to, to consume and fall in love with in. because yeah. you need a specific state of mind and uh, unless you have like a very nice clip attached to it, it's very hard to listen to in, to begin with. <laughs> you need to have a silent surrounding and uh, just sit down and then and either really take your time and listen to it or you're in a That's what you party need. With That's friends. what you need. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. So <laughs> let's let's back up a little bit. I want to ask about the period of time. Uh, you guys mentioned that uh, you moved and relocated the band that you're in to where you are now. Uh, but then Eden also suggested that there was a period of time that she was not working in music. So where's the overlap there? Uh, how did that all work out? Yeah. Um we are talking about two different bands. So Tom uh, started an um, actual proper melodic metal band um, nine years ago, roughly. Mm -hmm. And this band started without me. And uh, But I did got to know them and we, we got married at some point. So obviously I, I knew a lot about them and I had an actual, um, like I was their, their number one fan for sure. And some maybe addition and psychologically mostly. Um, but I wasn't part of the band. Oh, and okay. when, when we started with this band, they were still existing, but they were kind of in a breaking phase. Mm -hmm. Um, and they broke up eventually, finally, uh, on, in December of last year. So they are not existing anymore. And now, um, Shubidum with me is, Live and kicking. <laughs> okay, so so when the band relocated, you weren't you weren't a part of that band. You were just no. along for the ride per se. Right. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right. So let's let's talk about uh, the current project, the swing metal band. Um, obviously, you said that uh, the two projects kind of went uh, at the same time for a while. Um, but where are you guys now? Are you guys uh, writing material and performing it? Are you putting albums out? Give me just kind of the lay of the land of where you guys are. Well, we are really in the beginning phase. Uh, we we have two official release songs, and uh, the next one is coming out on the twenty uh, second of um, September, so really soon. Um, yeah, we are releasing singles at the moment. Um, where still debating on how we are going to approach uh, album creation and so on but we haven't already started with shows yet because we just up until recently didn't have um all the band 
completely. I mean, we still are missing a keyboardist, but um, we at least now have five out of six members that we need. So um, we are now thinking about um, starting performing in 2024. Um, and and until then, hopefully to release enough songs and have enough covers so that we can actually have an, a full lineup for, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So tell me a bit about how the band came to be. What was the motivation to bring swing and metal together? Well, you like to talk about it. When we talk I like about it. I like to tell the story. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, as we mentioned, Tom had his own band, and we were actually working together in the same company um, as our actual jobs. <laughs> and at one trip, uh, we Tom came to me and he said, "You know what? I really want to have another project." And I had I have three ideas. Help me choose one of those projects. And I don't remember the other two, but the swing metal was the third one. And I said, you know what? I have no idea what swing metal sounds like, but it sounds really cool to me. Um, but since you, we already have enough pressure and you have your own band and so on, how about we just don't put any pressure on it. We just make it as a, like a couple activity so that uh, we have some together time and we have fun. So uh, that's how it started. We never planned to make it an, as a band. And then when we had our first song is when we kind of decided, okay, that sounds too awesome to stay in our computer. <laughs> so we have to kind of, you know, go out and, and spread the word about swing metal. How come it doesn't really exist or there is some form of it, but not really. And I, we kind of agreed together that it has to be out there. And then it's when we added um, one of the uh, former band members of Tom's former band, and this is when we really started kicking it off. And also along the way, Tom's band uh, dissolved. So this is kind of gave it even another push to really go into it. And yeah, Tom came up with the name and then we just <laughs> started. Awesome. So uh, you mentioned a little bit there that uh, you're uh, recording on a computer, I assume in a home studio. Uh, Tom, tell me a bit about uh, producing, uh, you know, this style of music and how you go about it. Oh, it comes from many different directions. So uh, you never know exactly when and how the, um, the muse is going to strike. You know, you can walk down the street and hear a dog barking and then, oh, OK, that, that's a new idea. And um, yeah, um, it's mostly coming from, you know, um, we're trying to take a specific song that we know in, in the genre of swing or metal and um, uh, do something on it or change it a little bit. And then it gives us new ideas. So, for example, the, the next song that we're working on is a new interpretation for the Sing Sing Sing. Um, if you know, it's a really, really old um, uh, swing song by Ben Ben Goodman, I think. Uh, I forgot the name. Um, yeah, so we started writing it and now it's getting like a little bit of a different direction but it's still keeping the same emotions and feelings of the original one um yeah and some ideas are originally meant for a different project that i had in mind uh, so for example swinging it was supposed to be something um for like a, a pop um project i was thinking of having I have too many ideas for too many. Yeah, there are a lot of projects in mind. <laughs> yeah. sure. Well, let's let's talk kind of into the future then. Um, you mentioned that you're slowly rolling out releases to kind of build up a catalog of of songs to perform. Uh, tell me what happens, you know, after you have the band together, after the album's out. Uh, are you guys going to go out there and book as many shows as you can, uh, write more material? What's kind of in the future for you guys? Yes. <laughs> I mean, um, we we have a goal to really be in like big festivals, not to stay in Leipzig or in Germany. We really want to be out there. We also have already some fans that are kind of like, hey, come to France, come to Belgium, come to Japan. So there are people who are already kind of interested in this music and we would love to, um, you know, go out there and, and perform it because we really love to perform. I also mentioned myself that uh, stage is the place I feel very comfortable at. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of the combination. <laughs> a new metal Sounds set. like we have a new... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is... Uh, we, we definitely want to uh, 
put out more songs, especially more original songs, because uh, this this uh, genre is also quite new and I mean it exists. I mean it's in a form, really unexplored. But, it's not like we know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. No, we don't. But we have we have big goals and dreams to this music to this uh, band. We we are not. Uh, in the the idea of staying in as a hobby band, mm-hmm. um, yeah. But there is something that for me is very um, difficult. Uh, for, of course, this is my first band, but there is this kind of sense of uh, we have to first really struggle with everything and first really not get paid and actually pay to play and so on and so forth. And as a businesswoman, it's kind of hard for me to have this notion of we have to pay or we we don't think about even getting paid in the first two three four years it doesn't make sense to me when we're actually giving a service you know and and it's it's, essence it's giving a product it's giving a service so yeah it's it's definitely (laughs) tough to make that leap and invest in yourself and then see it through Right. Awesome. Um, So uh, why don't each of you take a turn uh, sharing a memory that you have of, you know, something that kind of keeps you motivated surrounding music, whether it was a show you went to or writing a song, what kind of keeps you motivated? Just keep doing it. Tell me a start. Mm, What motivates me to write music? That's a good question because I'm always struggling with this. (laughs) (laughs) Like music is not sustainable. It's not a way of life. So what's Um, pushing it through? I think it's the emotions it's it's providing and giving me, you know, um, you just want to make music, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, it helped me in some rough times in the past. Um, the reason I'm listening to metal because it's, I'm feeling it's emotional and deep enough to explore many different uh, feelings and things I'm going through at the moment. Um, and um uh, yeah, it's it's really something that pushes me on. Um, I recently started exploring new genres, uh, which was really hard for me in the past. So swing came to me like um, six years ago, first time. Uh, recently started listening to some other things, uh, a little bit of pop, a little bit of um, uh, trances here and there. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, not that much. I'm learning. <laughs> All right, and Eden, what's what's your story? What kind of keeps you motivated to keep going? Well, um, it's definitely all of the above, whatever Tom said, because emotions is like the the best part of music and how it can alter your emotions as well. And I mean, I I cannot live my life without music. This is a daily thing. There is not one day I'm going. Uh, in life that there is no music in one way or another Um, if I'm singing or if I'm not singing but normally I am Um, but the thing that kind of comes to mind is um, we started listening to swing metal kind of in the past few years and I've seen the effect that it does on me when I have zero energy and I know I have to do something and then we turn on swing metal and this is where kind of like the beats are pushing you, you know, through this powerless moment and all of a sudden you have energy for everything. <laughs> so it's kind of like very much amazing um, how it affects us, not only emotionally, but actually physically that can ha- have an effect on you. Awesome. That's great. Uh, so where can people find the stuff that you're putting out and then follow you and make sure that, you know, they can check anything out that you put out in the future? I Basically everywhere. Twitter <laughs> and Twitch. And, uh, we have a Twitter account, actually, but we don't, yeah, we don't do anything. It's not really working. It. Yeah, but, but uh, mostly we're on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, we have a TikTok account we are kind of struggling with at the moment. But um, we are on Spotify, um, Pandora. Um, basically every streaming platform that you can think of we are there uh, bandcamp as well so really whatever streaming platform you really prefer you can find us just search for shooby doom and you will find it <laughs> awesome all right uh so why don't you, each of you take a turn just sharing a general life message that uh you believe in that you think other people should also hear wow <laughs> um i think that one thing that this band really taught me is to just start this is something that a lot of people are holding themselves just because they're thinking okay it has to be perfect it has to be it has to have this and that uh, contained within and 
we started with nothing. We started our um, platforms with with zero songs released, and we kind of pushed through. But this is a great way to to learn and develop with time without having too many eyes looking at you already, um, but still have that feedback of things that are working or not. But if we don't start, it would never get to the point where we are in a good position to to test the things we're doing. To simplify, start before you're ready. Start before you're ready. We actually have this sentence uh, above our bed written. <laughs> so, nice. It's important. And Tom, what would yours be? I would like to quote a sentence from our last song. We're only living once. It's time to lose control. Um, you don't know when you're going to die. And what we do doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, <laughs> fuck it. Just want to do something, do it. And uh, all the emotions and people around you telling you, how you should behave and how you should dress and how you should um, uh, react to things. It's their opinion. In the end, it's nothing. They're, they're not living your life. You're the only one who is in charge of what's happening to you. So just do whatever the hell you want to do.